Hopefully by now, you've drafted and revised your evaluation essay and you're ready to submit your Final For Now draft to your teacher. Remember that Final For Now means that you're ready to submit a draft now for a grade, but that you'll also get a chance to, if you choose, to revise this essay again for the final portfolio. This means that your teacher will give you a grade now, but you'll get much more as well. You'll get feedback that will help you revise the essay, and feedback that will help you become a better writer more generally. Let me offer a few last minute suggestions here, just in case you aren't feeling great about your evaluation essay yet. One of the key skills that you worked on for this essay was citation. Now, look at the essay that you have and make sure that you've used evidence from your observation notes to support every point that you make in the evaluation essay. If you've made any statements about your text that aren't supported with evidence from your observations, go back to your notes and look for evidence to support your point. Next, look for adjectives in your essay. Words like good or bad are your enemy. Good is an evaluative word, but it's a really vague one. If a sandwich is good, what does that really mean? It's your job in this essay to be specific and to use specific evaluative words. Then, make sure that the evidence you provide proves that the evaluative words you used are the right ones. If a sandwich is disgusting, distasteful, or disappointing, why is it so? How is it so? After your readers have read your essay, they should each be able to make a clear decision about the value of the text that you're evaluating. Look carefully at your essay and make sure that you've made a statement in your first paragraph about the value of the text you're evaluating. That's your thesis statement. By the end of the essay, this thesis should be clearly proven. Remember the trick that I suggested with your personal narrative essay, that you print the essay out, sit down with a pen, and read the paper aloud, making changes as you went? I think you should do that again with this essay. In fact, I think you should get in the habit of doing that with every essay before you submit your final for now draft. Seeing your essay on the screen as you work on it, you're not capable of really understanding it as a whole. So printing it out and taking time to read through it carefully is a really important step. Also, look back at the feedback that you got from your peers and your teacher on your personal narrative essay. What kinds of mistakes were you making? What were the issues that you felt you had to focus on? When you did your own editing, what sorts of mistakes, spelling, grammar, organization, popped up in, your, in the drafts of your essay? Your job is to make sure that you avoid making those mistakes again. On each essay in this class, you want to learn from the last one and make it better.